Hi Year 6, welcome to day 2 of your display project. So yesterday we did our doodle backgrounds and uh, hoping you enjoyed that task. We're going to do something similar today but we're going to turn, sorry, turn them into coloured letters. So um, I have planned out a range of keywords to do with Georgian and Josephite values that we're going to add on top of our backgrounds but I need your help to do two letters each. Um, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you how you would create a letter any letter and then I'm going to show you how you would doodle, bubble it and then doodle it um, but there is a document that you need to refer to um, it's on teams it's as a pdf it's in classes as it goes down and you each get two nominated letters and they need to be in the colors that I've listed I know that sounds very specific but to make it look right it this is the best way I have worked it out and how I have done it before and it's been successful so Please just have a look at that list once you've finished watching the video. It will say your name and then it will say letter one. It will say your letter in a bold colour and then emphasise it in text. So it might say uh, D in dark green, for example, or O in dark red. So please just make sure you refer to that. Please don't just pick a letter because um, that really won't work. and It'd be such a shame because then uh, we're going to have gaps and I don't want to have gaps. So let me talk you through this. We've done a bit of bubble work um, with letters in pop art, so I'm hoping you can recall that technique. I'm gonna show you two letters and I'm gonna show you uh, the doodle coloring method as well. And then what I will do is I will also show you the extension task for if you complete your two letters in this time. So let's get so, started. Um, so far I have just divided up my A5 page. You can see here that I've got my doodle work from yesterday. So it's, not, it's absolutely fine to keep them together, um, at least then they are safe. So I have uh, measured my page, it's 21 centimetres wide, so 10 and a half through the centre and I've just put a line down. The reason I've done this is so I can have a letter in each space and I'm going to try and fill each space with the majority of the letter. We don't want them teeny tiny because no one's going to see that on a big board. Really want to work quite big. Okay, so the method is going to be, in fact, I will do it, um, I will show you as we do this. So um, I'm going to just pick the letter K for my first initial. I actually don't think anyone's doing a K, which is interesting because uh, we don't need a K. So what you would do, is just to remind you, is you would draw out a capital of your letter filling most of the box. Remember, we're going to bubble this, so we don't want to make them too big as we do the capitals. Uh, I'm gonna make them a little bit taller, a little bit longer there. And don't worry about anything here like that because we can rub that out. Now what we're gonna do is we're gonna bubble it. So you have options with this. And I'm aware each letter's gonna be different, but what's gonna make them come together is the color. So again, as long as you stick to your color that you need to do, your style of letter will be bubbled, but you might have a more angular letter, you might have a more curved letter. It's not a problem, but the color is what groups them together. So uh, I'm going to start off with a curved letter. So what I will now do is I will go around my letter and bubble it to make it 3D, not 3D, 2D. So I can add doodles to the middle. Okay, there's one letter. And you can see it fills most of the page. I'm now going to pick a letter that has got holes in it. Um, let's go for a B. Because uh, sometimes when we do our bubbles and when we've done it in the pop art project, we forgot to do the center. So I'm just wanted to show you this as a reminder. So same method. Uh, we've got the B here. And I'm going to make the B fill most of the page. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to bubble around it as I did with the K. And I'm going to make this one a bit more angular, I think, to make it a bit different. So I'm just going to make this line a straight edge. And now centers, this is really important. If your letter has a center, please put the bubble in. So we need to bubble the middle lines. So a straight line there and bubble, and then down, and then straight line there and bubble. So I have my two letters. I have my curved letter and my more angular letter. Um, try not to do too many um, kind of curves and wiggles at the side, because I'm gonna have to cut these out. So if you can be kind, you can do angular or curved, but try not to do too many wiggles or details because it will take me a very long time. I'd really appreciate that. Uh, next stage, um, I will put the phone down after this and I will just do it with two hands. I'm going to rub out my pencil guidelines so I can fill the middle spaces with doodles. I've just rubbed out my guidelines 
and I've got a bubbled letter, really key to have a bubbled letter. What I'm now gonna do is I will then refer back to my document just to double check which color I have to color it in with. Um, the only color I can't supply at school is a, is a uh, dark red. So I'm gonna show you how to do a red and brown mixed doodle layer on the K. And then I think I'm just gonna go for handy a light blue on the B. So um, the idea for this really is yesterday, I know we did lots of shapes, but I'd focus on patterns. The area on these is not very big. So patterns will be very effective. Um, thicker and thinner patterns would be great because then it will show some contrast. Um, but if you, I wouldn't worry too much about specific objects. If you can, great. But I think it might be a bit tricky in the smaller space that we have to work today. So top tip for anybody who has to create dark red. I'm hoping you can see the color change between these two. This is the darker red and that's the red, but I don't have a dark red um, pen. What I have done is I have drawn, um, done, oh, sorry. I have done, oh, where is my camera? Uh, done a red pen for the red line. And then what I have done to change the color, I've just added a layer of brown on top. And then can you see how that makes it dark red? So if you're someone who's got dark red, I know it'll take a bit more time, but I really appreciate that you do this. Um, is to add, to mix the red and the brown pens together to create that dark red. Um, and it will just, it will make everything, this the dark red letters complete the whole um, title and theme of keywords. So that would be so helpful and I do really appreciate it, like I just said. I'm gonna continue this now and I'm gonna show you a complete letter in the K and a complete letter in the B. I am gonna change my pattern. So I might do a top curve here. I might move into a zigzag, spirals, dots, uh, and let's make it very, very interesting, basically. I've just completed my K, and I can see the red and the brown there blending, and that's absolutely fine. So I've got my dark red. I've then done my light blue. That's a complete, is what I'm gonna do is just rub out the pencil outline and just go around the outline in the color to complete it, and I think that will make it look really smart. And then if you do complete this in the time and you have some extra time for the afternoon, I will show you how to do the Doodle logo. So you can see I've just gone around the outline. Again, I've doubled that with brown and red to make it dark red, and I've got the light blue there. So they're complete. And like I said, if you complete these in the time and you've still got time left, I could really do with some doodle logos. So I'll show you how to prepare that. So put that to one side, got those both those complete. So same starting off as with the page. We've got A5, so A4 folded in half. I've divided it up, and this actually makes something called A6, like I said before. As the numbers go up, the sizes go down. It's very confusing in art. So this is actually something called A6. So we've done A6 letters, now we'll do an A6 logo. Yeah, it's gonna be very simple, um, but the again, the doodle um, effect is important. So I'm going to draw out my logo. It's a shield with a cross through it. So a very simple design Here's to start the with. the logo or crest outline for the school. Um, you can see I've had have to have to a go a few times at this. The curve is quite tricky, uh, especially when you add in the kind of the, the border. So what I'm now gonna do is I'm gonna add red, uh, or dark red, sorry, um, with some of my double layering just to the outside. I'm then gonna add in some patterns to the center just with my black pen uh, to fill those spaces. And this will um, be a lovely added extra to our display. To finish this, you've probably seen the photos, but I've built up the layers in the with the dark red, so that's the red and the brown. I then added in a red and brown border, so the shield stands out. And then I've just added in, because I've got a bit more space in these white spaces, I've added in some uh, images. So I've got a sunrise here, I've got the tree, I've got a book, and I've got the cross. So uh, if you're able to, it'd be nice to have uh, some shapes within the white boxes to complete that logo crest. And um, as I said before, if you're at school, please put them in the plastic wallet so they are nice and safe and I can collect them. If you are at home, can you please take an image that looks basically a bit like this. So it's a really good zoomed in image of your letters and if you've done it, your logo crest. And please upload to Teams. And like I said, I can print those off and add them to the collection. Again, I hope you enjoyed this project. Um, it will look amazing when it's put together. 
It will take me a bit of time. Thank um, you for your contributions, because without all of you in year six, this display wouldn't be possible. So thank you very much.